Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's Universe, it's me, Yansa. Yes, I'm pre-recording this. Okay, been busy, I've been tired. So this is for the water signs. It will be timestamp. We are going to get some general messages, love messages, see what your angels have to tell you, okay? This is for July 2023, okay? July 2023. Holy Spirit, holy angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's one against me shall prosper. Give me clear out messages. All right. This is for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. What messages do you have for them in regard to how their July 2023 month is going to be? You guys, I'm open for personal readings. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for your love donations. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes and subscribes. I appreciate that. If anything resonates with you or you just like my vibe, hit that thumbs up. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, okay? And um, you can subscribe as well. Check the link in the description box on how to book personal readings with me and purchase all of my other spiritual products. Ashe. All right, so we're going to get a um, general message here. General, general. What's going on in general? I'm going to do a water signs collective and then break off to Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Listen to your intuition, water signs. So you guys really already have a feel for what's going on. You already know what to do. You kind of already know what decision you want to make or what actions you want to take, okay? Just listen to your intuition in regard to that because big happy changes are coming. You can feel that intuitively that these big happy changes are coming. And the answer is yes. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. You know what you you know what you want to achieve. So don't stop, okay? Make sure you continuously listen to your intuition throughout this whole thing. You, it might look like this, up and down on a roller coaster. But no matter where you are, it could be scary, it could be silent, it could be boring, it could be chaotic, it could be peaceful. Continue listen, listening to your intuition, okay? All right. So that was just the Water Signs Collective. We're going to jump into the Water Signs individually. We're starting with Cancer because it's Cancer's birthday. Happy birthday, Cancer. All right. So we're going to pull from a couple of different decks for you guys. First, we're going to get um, some information on old love and new love. We're going to check the past person first. Let's see what's going on for you in July. Spirit, tell me about Cancer's past person or the person they have dealings with. They know of this person, the past person. All right. Overall energy could be a fire sign. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Sagittarius or Leo strongly. This person could be very energetic, strong, very beautiful, um, sexy, and just lively but who they are here king of cups could be a water sign fire sign with water in their chart or a water sign with fire in their chart emotional could be a little more mature their intentions with you okay i feel like this person is still holding back they could be holding back their emotions and their feelings the possible outcome we do have judgment expect this person to try to reconcile with you They'll still be holding back, but also still holding on to you. Okay? Clarify the strength for this person's intentions. It could be a Leo. Don't have to be a Leo. Just somebody very strong or brave. Very confident. Clarify strength for this person's intentions. Look, we got the Queen of Cups. So this person from the past, you could have ended things with this person. Okay, you guys have love for each other. That's how you know who it is. You have love and and respect. A mutual love and a mutual respect for each other. Things just maybe didn't work out or maybe like even if things are stagnant, y'all don't want to quit each other. Clarify this person's intentions. Strength, they, they still want to hold on to you. They do. 
because the possible outcome is y'all reconciling or them reaching out okay make sure you just listen to your intuition how do you feel about this past person how does cancer feel about this person from the past that they know or that they have dealings with the empress this could be your baby mama your baby dad you have respect and you have love for this person two of swords but you feel indifferent you feel like okay this doesn't go anywhere i'm at a stalemate there's no growth clarify the two of swords for your in uh, for your feelings for this person we have the ace of cups somebody somebody's feelings are a lot stronger and a lot louder than the other person's feelings <laughs> Okay, clarify the two of swords for Cancer's feelings for this person from the past. You feel like they're toxic. High Priestess, yeah, continue listening to your intuition because this person is declaring their love and things like that, but it didn't work for some type of reason. So just listen to your intuition. Don't rush. That's what I'm seeing. Your feelings for this person is, I'm not going to rush this. I like this, Cancer. All right, what about the new person? All right, the new person. You may not know this person or this person could be entering your life in July. Or um, this is somebody that's just entered your life. Fresh, new. All right, tell me about the new person for cancer. seven of swords this person could be i don't know this person got some sneaky ways who are they the fool could be an aries pisces or an aquarius this is somebody new ready to go into a leap of faith could be a little childish their intention their intentions is to come closer towards you they want to get a feel for you the possible outcome is the hair fan okay commitment with this new person why is the seven of swords here y'all could be secretly getting together deceit lies trickery cheating theft underhanded scheming dangerous risky behavior enemy masquerading as a friend spying lack of conscious strategy resourceful so i don't know some type of strategy being resourceful making a break for it all right this could represent aquarius but we have the sun i feel like this could be a bad boy or a bad girl they're mysterious but they um got you got you all hot and bothered okay clarify the two of wands for this new person's intentions okay because this is choosing a new path needing to make a decision this could be a sagittarius or an aries clarify the two of wands all of these cards have maybe on them maybe 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 even this one maybe the Eight of Swords. So they want to move towards you, but they're stuck where they're at. So this person could be stuck in jail, stuck in their mind, stuck in a situation or circumstance. The possible outcome, there is commitment. Is, is this person committed to you or already committed to somebody else? Clarify the hair fan for the possible outcome for cancer in this new person. We do have the Empress. I feel like this person is going to try to be with you. It could be an Aquarius. We do have the Ace of Wands. Okay, tell me if this person is already in a relationship with somebody else, please. The Chariot, no. Uh, this person, they argue a lot with this person. Now, this could be their baby mom or baby dad. This person could be a polygamist. So, I'm seeing, like, this person is not in love with them. They're in love with you. But I still feel like they have some type of tie or connection with somebody else outside of you. Okay. You could be dealing with a air sign. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Aquarius, Aries. Aries strong again. A fire sign, an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Taurus. Air, another Cancer, Taurus, or fire sign. 
let's get the overall energy for you guys in love for july beauty queen shining on stage and adored so this is the overall energy you guys are just looking good feeling good loving yourself and you guys are talking and communicating with somebody or multiple people <clears throat> All right, let's look at um the situations love oracle deck and see what comes out. So we have clock, needing time, cycles and takes time. Time to heal and progressing. All right. Okay, Cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Don't do this. Okay. We're going to do Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, how y'all doing? Hey, Scorpio. Hello. This is going to be your um, July love reading. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your past person, the person that you already know of, the person you could be dealing with. We're going to take a look at the new person. All right, let's see. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, the past person, you still love them. They still love you, the two of cups. Now, we're going to see if you or them have moved on. Who is this person? The Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn and Virgo strongly. Now, this is somebody that is very patient. They take their time. They're loyal, but they're slow as hell, okay? Their intentions with you taking even more time being peaceful being balanced okay and the possible outcome is the queen of swords finally making some type of contact and communication but this person might be cutthroat with you or you might be cutthroat with them like what's taking so damn long you should have been apologizing you should have been did this like what's taking so long why are you dragging your feet some of y'all you waiting on this person to get out of a connection with somebody Clarify the temperance for this person's intentions. Four of Swords, they're not doing a damn thing. They're not doing a damn thing. Four of Swords represents rest, being still. Okay, that's what temperance is. Clarify Queen of Swords as the possible outcome. Hold on. Because the King of Swords came out. But we also have the Page of Swords. A lot of angry, cussing each other out, stalking. And what is this? Clarify the Queen of Swords for the possible outcome between Scorpio and this person from the past. Okay, we have the Empress growth and expansion with the Ace of Pentacles. So for some reason, after this long-waited time of this person not doing anything... I feel like it might be you. You're the one who's going to initiate communication. You're the one who's going to travel towards them making that love offer. Okay. How does Scorpio feel about this person from the past? Now, the person from the past could be somebody you're currently with now. And you guys are building and investing with each other. But maybe it's just not going to the next level. And that's what you're waiting on. Okay, how does Scorpio feel about this person from the past? This wanted to pop out. The Knight of Cups, you, you're in love with them. And you want this to grow. You want to get married to this person. You want to express your love. You want to have this person's babies. Okay, you do. Don't lie to me. All right. Okay, so we have water, Aries, water, water, earth, Taurus, Libra, Fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Earth, Air, Sagittarius, Air. So let's see about the new person. If you guys are wanting a new person, this person could have just recently entered your life. Or this is the possible new person coming in in July, okay? They may not come in July, but this could be the new person that's coming in next. Whatever time they come in. All right, let me shuffle these bad boys. Who is this person? 
death this could be somebody that's going through changes in their life they could have just ended something okay they could be another scorpio like you're like you their intentions is to take their time with you grow with you invest with you the possible outcome this is going to be they're going to give you a gesture a love offer here okay for some reason i feel like this person could be a little i don't want to say moody but they could be just a little like they could come off as always aggravated or agitated for some reason I feel like this person has a hard time trusting people. Like they're very, very cautious around outside people. Clarify the seven of pentacles for this person's intentions with Scorpio. The new person. What's the new person's intentions with Scorpio? All right, we have the nine of pentacles and five of pentacles. So their intentions, I'm not going to lie. What I'm seeing is this person's intentions is to be with you but still kind of be single. They want to make you their safe option. Okay. I don't know. Clarify the seven of pentacles for this person's intentions with Scorpio. We have the world card. So I feel like this person doesn't want anything super, super serious. They do have the capacity to have feelings for you. But what I'm seeing is the Nine of Pentacles. This isn't telling me they want to get out of being single. They want to remain single. This person likes to be alone. Five of Pentacles. They do like that. Clarify the Ace of Cups for the possible outcome. The Eight of Wands. Y'all will probably just continuing flirting, talking, probably hooking up every now and then. But it will be a burden because this person has baggage. They're not ready to let go of. Why? Somebody's in love with the... Somebody's in love with this type of stuff, though. Like, you could be dealing with the Leo. Like, somebody likes the challenge of trying to um, pin you down, get you in a relationship or whatever like that. Now, what this it looks like... To, what this looks like to me is you're you are talking to somebody and maybe you and this person are the only just talking to each other y'all ain't in a relationship but that's your boo thing that's your shorty okay i don't know i don't know if you wanna i don't know it's it's lame i don't know i don't know all right we have grounding stability and security performance growth and endurance so this is what you're trying to get stability and security i don't know if this person has it here what's the overall energy in your love life for july scorpio travel so you guys are going to be traveling having fun you could be traveling with this new person vacation honeymoon and enjoyment you're just trying to enjoy yourself then we have career. You guys could be going on a business trip. Okay. So, I see fire, water, fire, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Earth, Scorpio, water, Earth, Earth. Okay. Thank you, Scorpio. All right, we're moving on to Pisces. My beautiful, lovely Pisces. How are you? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Pisces, my beautiful, wonderful Pisces babies. Whoa. Something jumped out. Let's we'll see what it is. All right. <clears throat> Y'all have the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, and then the King of Pentacles. Y'all could be getting a new car. Y'all could be traveling a lot. All right, we're going to look at your past person first. They're still thinking about you. You're still thinking about them. Who are they? Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody that comes off as very cold. They could be a um, a boss, a leader, an authoritative figure. Somebody that just that's just very discerning. They have integrity. They could be very stern. All right, their intentions with you is the hangman. Okay, feeling trapped, confined, self-limitation. Okay, needing to release something. So maybe they're not letting you go or they're not. their intentions is to not let go of their habits and their ways. The possible outcome is the Ten of Cups. So this could be long term here. 
and maybe you guys could be possibly working things out maybe there's nothing wrong with your relationship okay clarify the hangman for this person's intentions with pisces all right we got the page of cups they do like you they do express emotion towards you but it's small little pieces with the page of pentacles so what they want from you and their intentions is they want you to continue accepting the little bit that they give here and there okay and eventually y'all gonna be in some type of committed relationship clarify the ten of cups as a possible outcome the king of pentacles came out but do, I do see the five of pentacles and then the four of pentacles. So maybe the reason why you're doing this is because you've invested a lot of time or money into this. How does Pisces feel about this person from the past or this person they have dealings with? I'm not going to lie. I get some fishy energy. I feel like this person is controlling. Okay. This is why you keep staying. This is your feelings towards them. The sex is too good to leave. Okay, you feel stuck and you feel trapped. It's not love, though. All right. So I guess somebody's trying to kind of like... I don't know if somebody's trying to turn this into a friends with benefits, but y'all do boyfriend-girlfriend things, but continue being friends with benefits. I don't know. All right. All right. I see air, fire, earth, water, air, Pisces, earth, water. Let's look at the new person. All right, this new person could be somebody that just entered your life or somebody, the possible person entering your life in July. They may not be entering in July. This could just be the next person that's coming in. Whenever they come in, who are they? We have the King of Swords again. Their intentions with you. The Queen of Swords. Wow. We have the King and Queen of Swords. Who they are. Somebody that's... You like this type of person. It's a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could be a Libra. You like somebody stern. You like somebody who's on their shit. They cutthroat. They mean what they say. They say what they mean. You like that. Their intentions with you is to be just that. Honest. Truthful. Protective, independent, chatty, communicative. They could be witty or funny. All right. Their intentions is to have constant communication with you. The possible outcome. Judgment. Y'all going to make some type of decision. I feel like you will be with this new person. Okay. The will of fortune. I feel like you think this person is the better option. This could actually turn into a commitment with the Hierophant. Clarify the Queen of Swords for this person's intentions with Pisces. The new person's intentions with Pisces, please. <clears throat> the Four of Wands. Their intentions is to be in a relationship with you. Okay, this is a divine pair, a match, the King and Queen of Swords. They want to be the yin to your yang. They want to be the bonnie to your Clyde, okay? Clarify judgment as the possible outcome. Okay, the three of swords came out with the sun. Now this new person could actually be the old person and you two work it out. Okay, the possible outcome being judgment. You could be trying to reconcile with somebody from the past that don't work out. So you decide to go back to this new person. Okay, something on <clears throat> in those lines. Now, clarify the three of swords. I wasn't expecting that. The three of swords, the chariot. So you guys are moving on from someone or something. And you guys are going to be with somebody else. You have six of swords, six of wands. You're moving on from someone or something. All right. What's the overall energy in your love life for July, Pisces? All right. We have travel. Scorpio had got that as well. 
and then we have ice queen somebody is an ice queen okay make somebody needs to warm up okay we do have the king and queen of swords so somebody is a little too cold but this does represent divorce say a mother or just discernment okay all right let's see self-indulgence self-worth and value time to heal shadow work self-appreciation all right pisces i love y'all this is all i have don't forget to like share and subscribe let me read the signs because so we have air cancer leo air air fire scorpio sagittarius i love y'all don't forget to like share and subscribe the next time i see y'all um we'll just be doing other readings i don't remember what i was trying to say until i see y'all again y'all be safe is what i was trying to say peace